Hi everyone, this is Math for Uni. This is the worked solution to question 3 from lecture 7 of our Udemy course. If you find this content helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out our full Udemy course, of which the link is in the description. The question says, show that the set of all matrices of the form 1xy 0, 1, z, 0, 0, 1, with x, y, z being real numbers, form a group under matrix multiplication, which, out of interest, is called the Heisenberg group. In order to show that the set of all of the matrices of this form form a group under matrix multiplication, we need to check all of the conditions that we need for this to be a group. We can start with closure, or showing that the operation of matrix multiplication is a binary operation, which is essentially the same thing. We need to show that if we take two matrices of the above form and multiply them together, we get another matrix of the same form. So if we take two such matrices, i.e. 1, x, y, 0, 1, z, 0, 0, 1, multiplied by, let's say, 1, a, b, 0, 1, c, 0, 0, 1, then we need to check that we get a matrix that looks like the above form, i.e. we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, but we have some real numbers here, here, and here. So if we multiply these together by going element-wise, then we have 1 up here, we have, let's have a look, it'll be this times, nope, sorry, start again, it'll be this times this giving us A, and this times this giving us X with then a 0 on the end, so A plus X. The next one's a bit more complicated, we have b plus cx plus y. Down here, indeed, we have 0. Next, we have, as required, 1. Then we have c plus z. And then we have 0, 0, and finally, 1. So, luckily, this is another matrix of the desired form. And so this set of matrices is closed under matrix multiplication. So I will write closure and then a tick. Or alternatively, matrix multiplication is a binary operation. Next, we need to check associativity of the operation. But matrix multiplication is associative in general, and so it is associative when applied to this set of matrices in particular. Next, we need to check that this set has an appropriate identity under matrix multiplication. We know that the usual 3x3 three three matrix multiplication identity is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is a matrix of the desired form, i.e. in the Heisenberg group, if we set these x, y, and z to all be 0. Indeed, therefore, we have an identity as we require for a group. Finally, we need to show that we have inverses, i.e. that for a matrix 1xy, 01z, 001, we can find a corresponding inverse matrix that is also of the required form, i.e. that it's in the Heisenberg group. 
we can use the above formula that we worked out for multiplying together two matrices of this form. And if we take x, y, and z to be fixed, we can choose appropriate values of a, b, and c, so that we get this being the inverse matrix of this matrix, i.e., so that when we multiply them together in this way, we get the identity. Therefore, we need this to be 0, this to be 0, and this to be 0. Again, x, y, and z are fixed, and so we're choosing a, b, and c appropriately so that we get the identity matrix. As a result, as I said, we need a plus x to be 0, we need b plus cx plus y to be 0, and c plus z to be 0. We're choosing a, b, and c, and so the first equation up here tells us that we choose a to be minus x. The last equation, which is here, tells us to choose c to be minus z, and then finally, the middle equation tells us how to choose B, since we've already chosen A and C. We need B to be equal to minus Y minus CX from this equation, but then we want to have X, Y, and Z determining B. And so we substitute in the C that we have for minus Z, i.e. that we have x, z, minus y for how we choose b. Hence, for the matrix 1, x, y, 0, 1, z, 0, 0, 1, we have the following inverse matrix, which is 1 minus x for a, x, z, minus y for b, 0, 1, minus z for c, and then 0, 0, 1. Therefore, we have inverses, and as a result, we have met all of the conditions that we need for this to be a group. So, the Heisenberg group does indeed form a group under matrix multiplication. So, let's write a square box to say that we're done. If you found this content helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out our full Udemy course, of which the link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.